Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a memory spread for the week of August 6th through August 12th. And I have this cute kit from Pretty on Paper Co. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was Farm Life or something like that. But this is so cute. It's a little mini kit. Um, here are the full boxes and some labels down here. We've got some checklists, which I won't be using. Lots of functional deco flags half boxes, third boxes, date covers, bottom washi, and some more labels and trackers and stuff. So I will be using not so much of this kit, but I'm going to try to use as much as I can. But it's so cute. I love the artwork in this. And I love this quote. It's like one of my favorite songs by Casey Musgraves. So that's why I picked this kit. Okay, so I'm going to substitute in a different weekend banner, but everything else I'll just pull from the kit and from my leftovers. And yeah, so I'm going to switch to a voiceover. And let's get started. So I'm starting with the bottom washi, and I was trying to figure out if I wanted the blue stripe at the top or the bottom, and I decided on the top. And I like how that looked. I love the patterns and all the florals in this kit. And then I'm putting down the day covers, and I didn't white anything out because it didn't really show through that much. And I forgot the date dots, but I'll come back and do that at the end. And then I found the flags, but they're just slightly smaller than the printed flags on the page. So, But it was yellow anyway, so it just kind of worked out. So I just layered that over that flag. And then I used the Casey Musgraves song quote for my quote box and then I pulled in one of these little glitter boxes for just marking this week for my journaling section. I'll come back to that at the end. If you are ever curious about like any questions about my memory planning style, oh this is my spread that I'm basing this off of in my everyday planner. Just showing that really quickly. But if you're ever curious um, and have any questions, I do have some frequently asked questions linked in the description that will probably answer your question. And this is my leftovers book. I just got this sticker book. That's also going to be linked in the description, so check that out. So, so far I've just put down a little flag that says catch up day and marked my dentist appointment, which wasn't bad at all this time. It usually is not. I have been blessed with really good teeth, which I am very grateful for. So underneath that blue full box, I put I finished my rough draft, almost done with my fourth class. So I was finishing up this um, a class on uh, what was it? Leadership in schools. So I'm done now, but it was a rough 15 page paper. Okay, that, um, the two things I just put down, those are going to be moved to Wednesday because I got confused and put them on the wrong day. So, don't get too attached to those. I did put the little um, tea towel full box down at the bottom on Tuesday. And then I have this picture of my parents on their wedding day because it was my parents' anniversary. And I think that's important to celebrate because long marriages just don't really exist as much anymore. And I'm proud of them. And I love them. So I put that cute little picture of them when they were like 20 something years old. And here's where I'm moving everything over. And I totally ripped the paper and didn't plan it out very well, but you know, it happens. So up at the top on Tuesday, I put down this little um, third box. Yes, third box. And that was to mark meeting the new teachers. And then at the top on the little scallop label, I marked. That, that was my last work day before everybody came back. And then I had this white space that I didn't plan for. And then I had the paper sticking up, so I kind of glued that down a little bit. And then I just wrote some stuff in here about how it was nice for the leadership team to be back together. I just work with really good people. I feel blessed about that, too. Okay, then back on Wednesday, I took this little glitter box, the blue one, and the little, it looks like a little frappuccino or something, but I'm using it to mark my first day of fasting at work, which was kind of hard, but it went well, which I marked, and put that it's 
getting easier as I fall into a routine. And then I forgot that I had my video to put in that day, so I'm going to white out some of that. We'll get back there in a second. Yeah, so here's the video that went up on that Wednesday, so I'm just writing out like the last sentence there. I'm putting that in there real quick. And then back to Thursday, um, well, and Friday. I put that video in on Friday just so I didn't forget. And then I'm going to move that. There was a lot of moving around this week. I'm going to move that movie marquee to um, Saturday in a minute. But back up on Thursday, I marked this uh, workshop thing that my school went to. It was really good. So I marked that for once. It was great. And it was all about the brain and technology. It was fascinating. Usually this workshop is like so boring and like drawn out. But this one was really, really good. I like the way they set it up. It's very inspiring. Got me in the mood to go back to school. And then underneath that, in that little third box, I put the little um, spoon, fork, and knife to mark that we had lunch at this really good restaurant downtown that we never get to go to during the, the um, school year. And then underneath that, I have this really cute quote from Mr. Rogers. And um, I to put in a note that I really loved Marsha Tate's talk. I've seen her before and I've been to some of her workshops, but I just love hearing her talk. She's just so entertaining and like she brings you into the conversation. So, and then up on Friday, I used that little glitter box and the pancakes from that Happy Planner book to mark our faculty breakfast. And I work in a really small district, but I work at all three campuses. So I know everybody. So I marked that it was so good to see everybody. And then I put down that cute little um, full box underneath that. And this is where I kind of start moving some things around. So I put down the yellow half box and then move the marquee over. And then I wanted to mark that I finished Gilmore Girls. I watched the whole thing again for like the third time. And I finished the um, newest, like the Netflix miniseries this night. So I wanted to mark that. And then on the yellow half box, I put on this little coffee cup and put very boring training in the PM. I think it was just like, we're tired, we're back to work. It was just not good timing and it just didn't work very well. Okay, then I put down a couple more of the full boxes because I wanted to use those with the flowers on them. I just thought they were really pretty. And in hindsight, I probably should have separated them, but it's okay. And then at the top of Saturday, I spent a lot of time cleaning that day, just like getting everything in order. And then on Sunday, I'm putting in a couple of little snippets, little clips of my nephew walking. And yeah, this is the first time I saw him walk. So he was walking the, earlier this week, but I got to see it live and it was just adorable. He's the cutest. So I put on there, Grayson walked. Thank goodness for FaceTime with the little balloons. And then back to Saturday because I really didn't do much on Saturday um, besides like cleaning and getting my house in order and doing yard work and stuff. So, but I did watch this really good movie on Netflix called The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. It was so good. You should go watch it. It was cute. And then on my journaling section, I did add a few things at the bottom, which you can't really see right now, but you can see it in a minute. It's just some washi strips to kind of fill in the space a little bit. And then I wrote about how this was a great week. I loved being back to work with all my school friends. The workshop on Thursday was super inspiring, and I can't wait to get started with the kids. Two more weeks. So this was kind of dipping our toe back into school, and it was good. And this is where I remembered that I needed to put the date dots down, so I had these little leftovers. So I'm just throwing those in there real quick, and we're done. Okay, here is the finished spread. This turned out so cute. I mean, I knew it was going to, but it's just so cute. I love all the florals. It is very farm inspired and I like it a lot. So I hope that you did too. Um, check the description for any of the shops that I used that I mentioned. And 
yeah, I think that's everything. So give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye.